When it comes to gaming, one thing I've heard a lot from people is that they want a reason to upgrade from their last gen system to their next gen system. And while I'm hearing this less and less considering how you have both more next gen exclusive games along with games that are much better on next gen, I still have heard some people try to talk about why they're still waiting for a reason to go out and buy a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. So I thought maybe I'll try something a little different and maybe I'll focus on something I haven't talked about in a while. The Nintendo 3DS and especially the new 3DS. Well this is actually just about the new 3DS but anyways I think by now we probably know about the new 3DS's design flaws. And I'm talking about the XL here because that's the only one available in America for some reason Nintendo didn't want to release the normal one in America. But one major design flaw with the system is the SD cards. You can't use normal SD cards anymore. You have to use micro SD cards. Okay, that doesn't sound like a problem until you realize you have to actually get a screwdriver to remove the 3DS's back cover. You can't do it like the old 3DS's where you can just pop a cover on the side without having to remove any sort of screw like you can on a digital camera. And of course, you can't remove the back cover either just by popping it like you can on a cell phone, so you actually have to get a screwdriver just to remove the SD card. It also doesn't come with a charger, and the new C-Stick, like the C-Stick, that is very tiny. It is about as small as, you know, the ThinkPad pointing nub that you see in the middle of, like, one of those ThinkPads where it's all red. And it's, you have to, like, use it to move your mouse around and you know how those are. That's what you have for the analog stick or C-stick on the new Nintendo 3DS. I mean, the left slide pad is there, but instead of having a second slide pad like you would with the Circle Pad Pro, you have a real tiny C-stick in a very awkward spot. Now, here's something interesting I noticed today, because I was just looking on Amazon for stuff about 3DSs, and what I noticed was this. I think by now we all know about how the new Nintendo 3DS was advertised as having both a faster CPU and more RAM. Okay, so I decided to go on Amazon and type in new 3DS games, because it's been several months since the new 3DS has been out. And what am I noticing? There's only one new 3DS game. Think about it. There's only one new 3DS game that won't run on your old 3DS. There's only one 3DS game that actually uses so much of a new 3DS's power that it can't run on your old system. And there's only one new 3DS game that, like I said, actually makes it worth investing in. And you know what? It's a port of an older Wii game from several years ago that wasn't even that graphically impressive. So here's the thing, there's only one new 3DS exclusive. Only one in a few months. Now maybe you can kind of excuse that by saying that, oh, there have just been not too many new 3DS games coming out, and by that I mean new 3DS games as in 3DS games that are actually new coming out. But here's the thing, there, none of these games actually use the new 3DS's power, except maybe for Amiibos, I'm guessing, but still, here's the thing, none of them actually require it. So what's the point in spending $25 more when you don't get a charger and have those technical limitations I said? Because here's the thing, the new 3DS has only one exclusive game in just a few months. That's pathetic. That's all that needs to be said. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.